Every day in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties, almost a half a billion gallons of minimally treated wastewater is pumped off our coast right into the ocean. Here we are, a little less than a mile off the shore in Pompano, the site of one of those pipes. And here's what the pipe looks like about 100 feet down. The sewage coming out of these pipes comes from homes and businesses, even hospitals. It is treated at sewage plants before being pumped out to sea. But the outfall, as it's called, is still filled with ammonia, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Most people don't see it. Most people don't realize sewage is being dumped into the ocean. They're shocked to find this out. Uh, most people think that this practice was discontinued years ago. Ed Titchener is director of Palm Beach County's Reef Rescue. A scientist and former environmental regulator, he's argued for years that the wastewater coming out of the pipes acts as a form of fertilizer, creating giant algae blooms. That algae ultimately chokes off and kills large sections of the reef. Jeff Terode has lived in Florida all his life and been diving these waters for years. He says he's seen the destruction firsthand. This is nothing but a chemical cocktail that feeds algae. Anybody that dives around these pipes knows that there's really nothing. It's no man's land down there. Thoreau took us out to what is known as the boil, the spot where the effluent roils up to the surface. Right now we're just off the boil, what they call the stinkhole. I know why they call it a stinkhole now. You can smell it. It smells that, that raw sewage kind of feel to it, like a treated garbage. It's not a pleasant smell at all, and it's not the type of experience that you want to have when you're sitting out here on the ocean. Here you can see Terry St. Jean, another one of the founding members of Reef Rescue, diving near one of the outfall pipes. As you drift toward the pipe, it, you see this gray-brown, hard-looking water just shooting up from the bottom from 90 feet. And you try your best not to get into it, and you swim down toward the pipe. But it, it's like a nightmare. Uh, you go from crystal clear, aqua blue water to this hard, brown look. But all that could change. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection has drafted legislation that would require the three counties to shut down these pipes, which have been operating for decades. Right now, the, the most critical problem is that we're throwing away 400,000, 500,000, almost a half a billion gallons of usable water a day during a drought. Environmentalists and state officials argue the water that is being pumped into the ocean could be treated and used on land to irrigate farms, lawns, and golf courses. In South Florida, we treat and reuse only about 7% of our wastewater. In the rest of the state, the average is closer to 50%. Officials in Dade and Broward County are opposing the proposal by state officials to shut down the ocean pipes. In a letter to Governor Charlie Crist, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Alvarez argued that there is not enough scientific evidence to compel closing the pipes. He is asking the governor to set aside the proposal, which would cost the county billions of dollars and could raise people's water bills by as much as $20 a month. John Renfro is director of Miami-Dade's Water and Sewer Department. Is this harming the reefs? You know what? I don't know. But I've heard two trains of thoughts on it, and that's why I have, I, my, my, being a scientist and, and being trained as a scientist in education, uh, you always take a look at data, you do studies. And you may be right. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't do those studies, and, and maybe you know, we're too late. We don't, obviously I don't want to see the reefs die. Who wants that? I don't know how much more information they could possibly want. Uh, you know, by the time they develop that information, the reefs are going to be dead. I'm Jim Defeaty, CBS4 News.